Oh my goodness, we're so behind. <laughs> As always, I feel like that's the theme of everything right now. Let's get going. Let's get going. Let's see. Got the chat. Okay, sounds good. Go away. Here's the chat. Let me put it right in the middle so I'm looking at you guys. <laughs> good morning. How are you? Where are you guys tuning in from? It's a new week. Hey, Instagram. Hey, Poker Rides. Hello, hello. Hi, Matthews. Hey, Charles. What's the topic of the day? Oh, today we're not, I don't have any topic set. <laughs> I spent the last 15, 20 minutes um, troubleshooting my restream token. I had to like update OBS, re-authenticate restream. It was, uh, it was fun. Hi, hello. Hey, YouTube. You guys are awfully chatty. I hope you behave today. You guys were not behaving a few days ago. How's everything looking? I had to reset up everything. Are we doing good? Are we drinking coffee? Are we hanging out? Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm so glad you wrote it out as SLC, UT. <laughs> I can't unsee that. I didn't get your mounts when you ordered the X3. The X3, they're not doing the mounts anymore on that, on this guy. I think it's because they were uh, giving such a big discount on the camera itself. They weren't including the mounts at that time, but it was $3.99 and you should have got a selfie stick. You should have got a selfie stick. You like my nails? Thank you. Drew does them and he's amazing. I don't know what I'm ever going to do if he leaves <laughs> because I'm going to, I don't know. I'm gonna, I, I haven't found another nail tech to do them as good and they're so cool in person they're chrome I don't know if you can see them the camera doesn't do it justice I love them <laughs> thank you thank you they're expensive too <laughs> all right let's see that makes you sad you did and it works I'm sorry I don't know why they're not doing the the mounts anymore on the on the x3 that's not up to me if it was up to me, I'd make sure you guys had them. I'd make sure you guys had them. All right. Let me get my Cardo system playing. Uh, I was getting tagged in a bunch of Cardo posts uh, where you guys were receiving your Cardo Pack Talk Edge from this the sale last week. I don't know if I stay too far away from the microphone. Sometimes it does weird things. Um, but you guys were saying that you did... Uh, that you got the, the Cardo systems. You guys were loving it. So if you guys did order a Cardo Edge and you received it already, it seems like people are receiving them now. Let me know how you like it. Because I would love to hear. I would love to hear. A lot of people were just joining the Cardo fam for the first time. <clears throat> so it's nice to see. Hey, YouTube channel. My YouTube is Jess Rides. I'm actually live on YouTube right now, too. So I'm live on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube right now. Welcome to Bike. Oh, I didn't do my intro. <laughs> Welcome to Bikes and Coffee with Jess. This is where I answer questions for you guys, and we just chat, drink coffee, talk about motorcycle stuff. I started this segment because... Oh, when I was like a baby Instagram person, I had, you know, 20, 30,000 followers. I was super naive and I'm like, I'm going to reply back to everybody. I'm always going to answer my DMs. I always want to be available to my audience and answer questions and not gatekeep and be a support system resource person for the motorcycle community. Um, and at that time, the, the firearm community. But I was <laughs> super naive and now I have 2 million followers across Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, all that good stuff. And I can't, I cannot keep up with my DMs. It's absolutely crazy. So I started these bikes and coffees with Jess. It's three times a week. I go live three times a week and I just, you know, chat with you guys. So if you want to get questions answered, it's a way that I can crowd answer things because if you have questions about Cardo systems, 
if you have questions about Insta360, if you have questions about motorcycles, gear, helmets, gloves, boots, events, things like that, I'm sure other people do too. So this is a way for me to hang out with you guys. And um, yeah, we're here. <laughs> we're here and this is the way that I can, I can do it efficiently because otherwise if I stayed in my DMs all day, I would never do anything, never get anything done. YouTube channel name, Jess Rides. Jess rides on all the things, but a Grom is the smallest. All right, let's get this going. So this is my helmet playing music. I just started a new song. Let's see if it goes. Is the credit system loud enough? You're about to hear it. Make sure it's all the way turned up. Can you hear it? Do you want to get it? You should get it. This is my cardio system playing for my helmet. People are always like, I don't believe you. I don't think so. I think you have like a speaker playing in the background. I don't. <laughs> I don't. It's coming from my helmet. It is so loud. It does have the upgraded 45 millimeter headphones from JBL. I do have the audio bass boost profile on the Cardo app initiated, and that's why it is so loud. It is so loud. People don't believe it. It's even better in person. It's even better in person. All right, so we got my helmet playing. I saw a couple questions come through. Hold on, I gotta fix my breath guard. This is gonna bother me. Hold on a second. Okay, we're good. We're good. What is the price of the Cardo Pack Talk Edge? It was almost $100 off last week if you guys jumped on that sale. If you didn't jump on the sale and you're bummed about it, you should subscribe to my Insta story notifications so you see it. Um, let's see. Let's see what it is right now. Hold on a second. All right, guys. So I do have this linked in my bio. This is the, the page you get to when you hit more resources on Instagram or if you hit justrides.com slash links in any other bio, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook. I'm not sure where you're going from, but you'll get to this page, which I built on my website. You can go to Cardo, use Jess15 for a discount. I think it's only 10% now that they're going to give you off on, on these guys. Let's see. They might do another sale. So here you go. This is what the price is. So it saves you about $40. The Just 15 will save you 40 bucks on the single and it'll save you about $73 on the duo. The duo pack is a life pro tip. You can find a friend, split the cost, or you can buy the duo pack and sell off the second one. You could do it that way too um, and make your money back. But either way, um, this is what you'll get with my code just 15 will save you some money on there so i hope that answers your question oh my gosh i lost the chat ah i lost the chat i'm so sorry youtube i i dropped you guys i hope i didn't hurt you i'm sorry i dropped you guys all right good morning good morning hi guys hello youtube i'm sorry i uh had you hidden behind the the chat here oh my gosh restream how big is the difference between the regular JBL to the bigger ones? I hear a big difference. I've only had the upgraded ones, so I, I can't personally tell you the difference between them. But from the comments, I hear to get it the way it sounds like mine, you need them. Can you guys hear it? Okay. So that's the Cardo system. I saw someone ask um, about editing earlier. I have to turn this down because I can't hear myself. <laughs> I have to turn it down. Okay, I saw one more question on Instagram. Hang on one second. Let me scroll back. Oh, shoot. What did I do? I must be overdue for a new helmet or five. Oh, my goodness. 
Not quite. Not quite. How do I get the iPhone to not give the volume too loud while riding and listening to music? I don't know what you mean by that. Like the GPS? Battery status, 75%. 75%. <clears throat> Mm -mm -mm. There was one more question. Hold on one second. When I'm editing my 360 videos, do I prefer the app or the desktop? This is a question that I get asked all the time. That's why I wanted to scroll back to it to see exactly what it was. I get asked this all, all the time, all the time, all the time. Um, let me show you. So I do both. I edit on my phone sometimes. It kind of depends on what I'm trying to do. If it's a big project, I prefer the desktop because I have a big screen that I work off of and it's just easier and easier workspace for me. Uh, the phone is great too though, if you're just trying to do something quick and easy. Uh, but I, for my workflow, I do the iPad and the computer. So those are the two things that I use most often. I prefer, there's a little bit different editing tools on the phone app. There's a little bit more you can do with it. But just the basic pointing the keyframes and getting the 360 to point in that direction, um, I use the desktop app for that on there. I hope that answered it. And I can show you guys. What's up, Evan? Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, Isaac. Hi, Medici. Hello, YouTube. Hi, guys. How you doing? Have I seen the new Insta360 Go 3? Oh, boy, have I. Oh boy, have I. I got one right here. This thing is freaking awesome. Have you seen my videos on the Go 3? Posted them. I posted them. Check this out. This thing is so cool. It's a little, little camera. It's in a box on here. Got a screen on the back. Look, you can see my the chat windows going in the background. I can see all your chats coming through. It's mad cool. This is great. I use this every time I go to an event of some sort, whether it's like a Dinese grand opening or um, you know, bike night, things like that. I'll bring this for POV footage so I don't have to. And you can adjust the necklace. I just don't feel like doing it right now. Um, you stick this little guy on your POV like this and it catches everything and it comes with a little angle angle adjuster here so if you need to angle it you know forward or backward you can do that it is so fun so cool so fun I actually have this backwards hold on it's supposed to go like this Boop. look how cool this is freaking awesome. I use this at the uh, gun range. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that, the pew pew range, because this little camera is so good for things that you have to keep your hands busy. So if you're fishing, so if you're fishing or if you're, you know, shooting, <laughs> I'm so afraid to say things. I'm afraid to get banned. This camera is so cool. You can set it up on something and control it from the box. You can stick it on your kids. You can stick it on your pets. Uh, it's pretty freaking awesome. It's only forward facing. This is just made by Insta3, correct. So this is not a 360 camera. This is not a 360 camera. A lot of people get confused with the name Insta360. They started, I feel like they changed the game in the 360 world and then they came out with other products. I'm actually streaming from an Insta360 webcam. So if you're working from home, need something, this thing's so cool, I can actually like throw a little sign at it and it'll track me. It's got AI tracking features in here. Um, let me get it back center. Ah, scoot. Okay, stop. You can throw a little signs at it. It's got a really cool like um, overhead image thing where it'll like show my desk if I wanted to I could actually I could probably do that I need a taller tripod but it'll shift down and I can actually show the product off and stuff which I, I really want to start doing with you guys for this reason because I get to show you guys all these cool things that it has this is super awesome with the link in my bio um 
let me just move here. So with the link in my bio, uh, all these products I'm talking about, whether you're interested in the Go3, if you're interested in the X3, the One RS, which is a camera we didn't talk about, <laughs> the Flow, if you want to check out the, the webcam, they're all in here and they throw on some free stuff with my link. So if you go get the the Insta360 Go 3, you can get it in black now, cool too, which is so cool. I wish I got the black one. It'll throw, they'll throw in a carry case for you. So something similar to like what I showed you guys here where you can put it in a case and keep it all nice and nice and neat. So that's all part of what I can offer you guys on this stuff. But yeah, I love this Go 3. It comes with this little, um, let me put this down. I'm gonna drop something. If anyone's been in my live streams <laughs> before, you guys know I drop a crap ton of stuff. But this is cool. It's got um, a little sticky guy on there so you can stick it on stuff. Comes with a magnetic case or a magnetic mount, I should say, that attaches to it with a little thing here. So if you're trying to like stick it on your boat, your kayak, things like that. Comes with a lot of stuff. It actually, I'm actually really surprised. This is probably one of the only Insta360 products that comes with a ton of accessories with it um, that you don't have to buy extra. So that's that guy. Very cool camera, love it. Again, I use it. My personal use case is events and anything that I have to keep my hands occupied with. I actually I have seen some motor, oh, hold on, I'm away from my, microphone so I don't know if you can hear me oh shoot I forgot to put this back um ba -bum. I've seen some people like motorcycle people because you can't wear this at the track they don't let a lot of tracks some tracks do some tracks don't but if you're at the racetrack most of them will not let you go out with a GoPro setup like this or an Insta360 Insta360 setup like this uh, they won't let the cameras be mounted on the chin. So I've seen people put the little Go 3 right here. It fits right here in the helmet so they can get some POV footage. That's track approved. So that's another instance, too, if you guys are interested in that. Oh, my gosh. I lost, I lost my Instagram chat. So let me see if you guys are asking questions. Wee! You've got a 600-mile ride on Thursday. You need a... 360 to demo. <laughs> I have some extras. If you are a friend of mine, I've lent some out before. Phone mount to get while having your GPS stabilizer. Oh, someone asked, a, who asked the quad lock question? I saw a quad lock question come through. Can you re-ask it? <clears throat> Can you re-ask the quad lock question? Because I'm not, I think I missed it. I've used quad lock, um, to be honest with you, I'm about 80% happy with them. <laughs> uh, they haven't ruined my phone or anything like that, but my case, the case that I would put on my phone warped after like two years. So I don't, it's, it's not working right now and it's kind of a little funky. <laughs> uh, but I've, I've only ever used quad lock and ram mounts. I can tell you ram mounts was awful. Well, I don't know now. Back when I used it was 2015, 2016, and I lost a bunch of phones off of it. So now I recently did a thing with uh, Quad Lock. They do have, they did give me a discount. I was really happy with their car system. They have a, a really awesome car mount system for the Audi that I used to have. Um, sorry, I gotta stop talking with my hands. This camera keeps tracking me. But they'll give you some money off on the quad lock case. I think it's pretty versatile. If you're looking for something that's applied to everything, I think it's really nice. You can have it on your car, your desk, your bicycle. Everything just works. It's pretty cool. Um, a lot of people have it. So I have, you know, like Ace came over. He had a quad lock and he could just like click right onto my FZ07 because I had the quad lock system on it. He had to fix it because I don't know if I did something wrong on it, but the vibration dampener like almost lost his phone, <laughs> but he fixed it. I think it was a me problem, but, um, but yeah, that's what I use. I don't know. It depends. I think someone asked like what, what type of mount they should get. Um, let me see. Every time you see someone with a rim, let me see. Going to
you have a steering dampener in the way of your fork stem. You don't even have a space on your handlebar. You have a ZX6R. I don't know if someone can answer that. Um, let's see. Because on my R1, I have the fork stem one. If you don't have room, don't they make an adapter? Isn't there like some sort of quad lock adapter for something like that? I don't know. Does anyone know the answer for her? Your charging base doesn't seem to be working anymore on yours. Yeah, I don't know. I have I never set up the, the base. <clears throat> you like the quad lock, but you prefer the magnetic feature of the rock form. Is that the so what's the difference? I've I again I've only ever used RAM mount, which I did not I was not happy with. It it destroyed two phones of mine. So I wasn't happy with the RAM mount. I got the quad lock and then after I got two phones destroyed, I swore off phone mount systems altogether. I And I think you guys remember when I was in my live streams, I'm like, I won't use a phone mount system. I'm afraid of them. I think they destroy phones. I was very turned off with the idea altogether, so I didn't do it. And I think two years ago, um, a good friend of mine was like, you should try quad lock. And I trusted his, his advice. And I did try, and I do. I'm pretty happy with it aside from the case issue that case issue that I'm having. It is warped on the side. So it's a little funky when I ride now, which is whatever. I haven't reached out to them about it. I'm sure that they would warranty it if I reached out to them, but that's the only thing that I could say. I don't know. And I've never tried rock form, so I don't know. You can get a mount that goes on the brake master cylinder bracket. Okay. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I, I didn't have that issue on, on my bikes. On your ZX6R, you had to rig your quad lock because of your stabilizer. Okay. So I, there's solutions. Maybe YouTube. There might be a solution on YouTube. I YouTube everything. <laughs> I YouTube everything. So maybe there's a solution on YouTube that, someone's, that someone can help you with that. Your case is beautiful but collects dirt at work. Oh, iPhone 14 Pro. You have a rock form. Yeah, what's the difference between rock form and quad lock? The mag were, were you talking about the way the phone connects because I'm doing this because for quad lock you have to get it set and then like put it straight you know is rock form magnetic I want to say I saw a TikTok live with a friend of mine who was talking about rock form or maybe something else. maybe it was maybe it was something different I could be remembering wrong but yeah lots of options there but the thing I can say is any type of any type of phone mount system you get, make sure it has some sort of vibration dampening system, okay? Because it's serious. And I would hate to spend so much money on a phone and have that get ruined. I, that's why I was so scared about putting my phone on a mount. Oh yeah, Clint says rock form ruined three iPhone cameras due to the vibrations. I don't know. How many people on earth even know that these kind of lives exist on YouTube? I don't know. I don't know. I just started streaming to YouTube. I've been doing this on Instagram for a few years now, but I recently just got this OBS studio set up where I can stream across multiple platforms. First comment on Facebook. <laughs> Thanks, RJ. Yeah, Facebook is kind of quiet. Facebook's always quiet, but, you know, if I can stream there, I'll stream there. We'll see who can connect. Anyways, all right, so that's a good question. Lots of lots of varying opinions on, on phone mounts. I don't know that there's any one system that's better than others. Right now, I have quad lock systems on everything, um, and I'm, like I said, I'm 85% happy with that. I'd give you guys the truth. <laughs> I tell every, uh, let's see, every good, bad piece of, of feedback that I have on products. That's why I'm extra, extra honest with you guys. Big fan. Quad lock is the worst. See, there's varying opinions. I don't think there's anyone. I feel like if I asked the question, if I asked you guys, if I asked you guys which Bluetooth communication system is the best, answer it in the comments. Which Bluetooth communication system, I'm not going to show my helmet, which Bluetooth communication system is the best? Sound off in the comments.
I think I know who would, who would win. Cardo. It's going to be overwhelmingly Cardo. Cardo. <laughs> yeah. See? On Instagram. Cardo. 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 It's overwhelmingly. There's a few Cena users in here. Ew, Cena. Just kidding. <laughs> kidding. Uh, if it works for you, it works for you. It's overwhelmingly Cardo. When you ask somebody which phone mount system, it is so varied so varied i feel like there isn't one specific system that's better than the other for uh, you went from cena to cardo and cardo takes the cake i went from cena to cardo and cardo takes the cake my only regret from switching to cena to cardo is that i didn't do it sooner i had years i had six years using cena and i wish i switched sooner Speaking of which, I turned my Cardo system off. I don't know if you guys want to hear it. Are they going to have any sales on the 360? Are you talking about the, the Insta360, the X3? The X3 one, this is my onboard camera. This is my onboard camera. Someone had asked to see some editing. I can, what time is it? 8.50. Oh my gosh, time is flying. I've been yapping my head off. Um, ba -bum -bum. Let me see if I can find some footage to show y'all. Uh, da -da -da. I think they're still doing, <clears throat> let me see. Boop, boop, boop. I think they still have this guy on sale. 50 bucks off the X3. The thing that they're not doing is offering the mounts, the motorcycle mounts on top of this. So, But what they are doing Oh, they do have the motorcycle bundle. Now it's there, guys. It's there. The Insta360, maybe the people who ordered, they can reach out to support and say that you ordered through me and you didn't get it. They might send it to you. I'm not sure. That Don't quote me. That's not official. I Just try it. I don't know. Um, but now it's here. Motorcycle bundle, selfie stick. So you get like $70 worth of accessories plus 50 bucks off. That's this guy. This is the onboard camera. I put this on my motorcycle. I'd be happy to show you some examples of that. Let me just pick a pick a file here. Oh, perfect. This is a fun. <laughs> this is a fun one. Uh, this this video. Let me see if this works. Boom. So this is the desktop app that I edit from on my PC. This is footage from this camera, which now has my grubby fingerprints all over it. So let's just ignore that. Okay, so here we go. That's this guy. Uh, ba -bum. So if you can see, it's mounted right here. Oh, you see, look, my case is warped. Do you, you guys see that? It's like, and it feels loose. <laughs> like I'm afraid I'm going to lose my phone out of the case. Anyways, uh, we're going to ignore that. So the Insta360, this guy. This exact camera is mounted right here on my windscreen on top of a vi vibration dampener. I have it on top of a, a, vi a little, 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 on top of a vibration dampener and it's getting everything all the way around. I can zoom in, I can zoom out. It's getting everything. Wee! So, I'm sitting at the light with this uh, good friend we go way back. I met her an hour prior to this <laughs> on TikTok <laughs> and she's riding with me. I have my Ace Pro. I'm jamming out to my Cardo system. There we go. I'm turning my music up. Oh, I'm turning it down because I'm like, oh, this guy starts taking a camera, a picture. Hey, what's up, dude? Super cool, right? So if I was recording just from this Ace Pro, it's only going to record where I'm looking, right? That was my issue with POV content is that I wanted to get everything i wanted to get everything all around so that's what this camera's doing and i can choose at the bottom of the timeline where it points if i wanted it to point over here why would i do that but you could do that you could point there you just add these little keyframes onto it so yeah that's uh that's the wrap on this x3 50 bucks off and you get all those accessories if you use the link in my bio if you use the link in my bio is it mounted with the mounts from the bundle? Do I need a specific vibration dampener? So I used aftermarket mounts only because I go through mounts like a crazy person. 
I put mounts on rental bikes. I put mounts on, with permission, I put rounds, mounts on rental bikes at the track. Uh, I decked out these go-karts when we went go-karting. I go through mounts like a crazy person, so I order them on Amazon. But for four years, three and a half years, I use the mounts from the mount bundle. You can use that too. On the FZ07, I still use the claw mount from the mount bundle. Uh, it just depends on what you're doing on there. So it's just the little sticky mount. I have the sticky mount and the vibration dampener. Let me show you. So if you go to the link in my bio, again, that's the only way you get the affiliate link. I feel like such a influencer. Link in bio, but like it's true. <laughs> or don't, I don't, whatever, don't get free stuff. I don't, whatever you guys wanna do. I genuinely love these cameras, so it doesn't matter. Um, if you go here and you go to accessories, product, X3, let's see. Let me try to find it for you guys. It should be on here. I'm trying to find it. Maybe I could just look it up. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, there's a whole other row I was missing. Gosh darn it. Oh, there it is. There she is. Boom. This is the vibration dampener. Okay. Uh, that's what I have on top. It looks funky. I'm not going to lie. I hate the way it looks on the bike. <laughs> when I do rollers and stuff, I take off the whole system because I think it does look funny. It looks like I turned Zeus into a unicorn, but it's whatever. It's functional and it takes care of the camera and it gets really good quality footage. So, and that's what I'm after, right? So this is the vibration dampener. I use the 3M sticky guy on there. I use the mounts that come um, with the camera. There's like a little twist guy on top. I wish I had my bike here. I could show you exactly how I've done videos on it. If you go on my Instagram, I'm pretty sure I did a little a little video on how I set this up and which mounts I use. If you want to check that out, I think I have it pinned. I have it pinned on my Instagram. You can check that out. And then I got this vibration dampener and that's what I, what I have. And that's how I get this stuff. Whee. Okay, cool. Let me go back to the comments real quick. Cause I have not been, I have not been watching. Let's see. Polka rides. What app for the edit? So it's just called Insta360. Insta360 has the editing app on their phone. The phone one is so cool. The phone is cool. It's got like some, some templates and stuff you can use. The desktop app is the same thing. It's Insta360 Studio. It's on their website. You can just go to insta360.com and go to the downloads and there's an option for that too. Does that dampener work for the Insta360 RS? That's a great question. So I used the RS for a POV camera before I got the Ace Pro. This Ace Pro blows the One RS 4K footage out of the water, out of the water. It gets such crisp, clear movie quality footage from a POV. Um, and I also have a microphone attached to it um, on that guy. I don't think I mounted the One RS on the bike, so I'm not really sure. Let's look on the accessories. We'll find out together. Hypothetically, it should work. How does it? I think the One RS is in a case, right? I don't know that it would work. I don't think it has that same screw thing, but maybe they have a different one. Let's let's check it out. Boop, boop, boop. Quick release mount. Ba -ba. floating hand there's a gold selfie stick shut up oh it does it it has that same vibration dampener where's my hold on a second hold on a second so I have all these cases. I actually haven't linked these in my Amazon storefront, but I have these cases to organize like my camera equipment. They're fantastic. Um, let's see, how would they do that? Yeah, I don't know. It says it on their website. Um, so this is the one RS that they're talking about. This is the camera. It's a fantastic camera. Uh, I love having this option because it, it can be a 360 or a 4K camera it's so versatile and low profile it's freaking awesome yeah i don't know i don't have the case in here i'm sorry i would have to get the case out of my accessories bucket bucket 
so I don't have it in here. But I do have this little watch guy that I have to sync up with my cameras. Oh, I think I have a couple of these guys built. This is like my little go bag. I have this little go bag. It just has everything together. I built these little dudes so when I go riding, I just have a bunch of them to stick on and stick the camera on. So this is what it looks like on the bike. I have this, a vibration dampener, and then the camera on top of it. So that's what I have. <clears throat> does it come with a chin mount? That's a great question. So Insta360 does have their own chin mount. It is big. I will tell you that I don't really prefer it. Um, I might, I might have one to show you guys. Let me see. This might be, hold on, let me look. But I did find these guys. Ugh, I did find these. So there is this helmet mount that they do have. It attaches to the side of the helmet or the front or like the side of it. If you guys like that, I don't, I don't know. I think it's kind of bulky. It's an option though for whatever kind of side. So this is like off the side on the top or it's like the side of the helmet. So they do have this guy. Uh, you could check that out. Or what I use, if you go here, click mural, where is it at? Chin mounts. These guys 3D print chin mounts to your helmet. So it's exactly the fit. I like it because it's a little more low profile. So if I were to take off my entire rig here, it's very small. You see, this is the chin mount that I, I have on my Shoei RF 1400. You can use Jess 10 as a discount for that. So let me, um, ee. so chin mounts. Oh, actually look this, uh, which I don't like this. I got to figure out a, like a cleaner way to do this, but it's a later Jess problem. This is chin mounts clip. I don't know what these are called, <laughs> little claw clip. Uh, if I take off this whole system, do you see how it, it's just low profile? I just like the cleaner look. I wanna be able to ride with the helmet and it not scream, moto vlogger. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's very low profile. You can barely see that it's there. It's still there, but it's, it's a lot nicer. So that's why I prefer chin mounts. You guys can get whatever you want. There's a lot of options out there. You can look online for them, but that's what it looks like. If, if you have a showy helmet, you know it's got this curvature here at the chin. It makes it really hard to put any type of straight kind of option for it uh, around this side. So even for that Insta360 one, if I were to lay like a flat one, there's this curvature here and it won't ever lay flush which is why I like the 3D printed options. They have a ton, a ton of options here, a ton of helmets, look at them all. I was working with chin mounts and they had like 50 helmets and look at them all, look at all these guys, it's crazy. All right, super awesome. Yep, they make it for AGV, they make it, they make all kinds of helmet options. You saw that before, it looks bulky, yeah. So I use the, the chin mounts. I use the chin mounts. Do, do, do. Ba, ba, bum. I hope that answers your questions. Great questions, guys. You guys are super interactive today. I love it. I love being able to crowd answer all this stuff. I love being able to show you what I have. There's no gatekeeping here. I'll show you exactly how I set it up. Let's see, now I can't even get it back on. <laughs> I have to like loosen it to get it back on. Um, 
love answering your questions. I love being a resource. I'm happy to help you guys out and just show you what I like, what I don't like. I'm extremely honest. Like I said, if uh, Cardo or Insta360 stopped working with me, I would have you guys smuggle me products. It, we would set up an underground railroad to like get me a Cardo system. It, that's how it would happen. I refuse to use anything else. <laughs> I, uh, I actually used to have a mini sponsorship with GoPro and I packed up my stuff after using their uh, GoPro Max. I did not like it. The 360 stuff did not compare to this X3 or the technology that they have. And I packed up all my stuff and decided to work with Insta360. And I've been so happy. Same thing with Cardo. Used to ride with Cena. Now I ride with Cardo and it's freaking awesome. And I promise you, <laughs> I would have you guys smuggle me products. Who's going to hook me up if they ever stop working with me? Do I have any takers? I will send you money. You guys just have to get me products and we'll hide it. It'll be like an illegal import system. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to set something up. How does the overall weight feel like with these cameras mounted to the chin? I don't feel it. I don't feel it as much, but I've, I'm also really used to it. I can say that I also have like a clean... Oh gosh. I also have a clean helmet because I do prefer going out when I'm just going out to ride by myself. Of course, I have the Cardo system on there always, but I do have just a clean helmet, no mounts, nothing on it, just to kind of go out and enjoy my ride if I'm not content creating and things like that. So it, but that's just to release the pressure off of me. Um, that's just to release the pressure off of me so I can go ride to ride. You know what I mean? All right. Let's see. All right. Hello, Shehuda. How are you? Done and done. Lewis the bird. <laughs> it's midnight. No, don't stay up. You got to go to bed. All right. All right, guys, I got to take off. I got a job to get to and things to get done. So uh, just real quick, I know we didn't get to talk about like gear and things like that, but I do want to stress how important gear is to me. Um, and especially now that it's warming up in areas and you guys are getting back on your motorcycles and cars aren't really used to looking for you guys since it's been winter and things like that, please wear your gear. Uh, please keep your head on a swivel. Pretend like they can't see you because they can't. Just be safe. Do a quick mechanical check on your motorcycle before you go out. Checking your tire condition, your tire pressure, your oil levels, all that good stuff is, is very helpful for you. Five minutes could save your life. And then we didn't really talk about gear and the things that I, I used uh, today, but that's okay because I have a RevZilla page. You can check it out right here. Revzilla Just Rides, click that. I have an entire Just Rides page with my collection. You can shop all my gear right here. Helmets, gloves, boots, jeans, all that good stuff. Oh, look, Cardo system. Dinese gloves, backpacks, my maintenance stuff, all that good stuff is all listed here. So if you're curious about what I wear on the day to day while I'm out riding the bike, you can check out my Revzilla page. I want you guys to be safe. Wear your gear. Be awesome. I'll see you guys tomorrow on TikTok. I'll be live tomorrow on TikTok for Bikes and Coffee with Jess just on TikTok, but I'll be back here on Thursday. So here being Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook on Thursday for Bikes and Coffee with Jess. I'll see you guys later.